So, you're about to drop hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars on a beautiful pile of brand new PC parts. The excitement is palpable. You've seen those glorious builds online, the glowing lights, that buttery smooth gameplay, and you want in on the action, but just hold on a second, stop right there. Because standing between you and that dream machine is a minefield of really expensive and totally avoidable mistakes. You're ready to spend your hard-earned cash on new PC parts, but just one wrong choice can tank your entire build. So many beginners get the CPU and GPU combination wrong, pick a power supply that's way too weak, or choose slow storage that makes their brand new machine feel old and sluggish. In the next few minutes we're going to break down the essential job of every single component, with no confusing jargon, so you can build a smarter, faster, and more balanced PC. Seriously, don't even think about buying your parts until you've seen this. Alright, let's kick things off with the Central Processing Unit or CPU. The easiest way to think about the CPU is as the brain of your computer. It's the component that does all the heavy lifting when it comes to thinking, calculating, and telling all the other parts what to do. From launching a program to running complex game logic, that's the CPU's job. Now when you're looking at CPUs, you'll hear about two main things, cores and clock speed. Think of cores as individual brains. A CPU with more cores can juggle more tasks at once, which is perfect for multitasking, like streaming your game or editing video. Clock speed, measured in gigahertz (GHz), is basically how fast each of those brains can think. So, where do people mess up? The biggest mistake is either going way overboard on the CPU for a simple gaming build, or cheaping out and creating a massive bottleneck for a high-end graphics card. A top-tier CPU is awesome, but most games won't use all 16 cores. For gaming, it's way more important to get a modern CPU with great single-core performance than it is to just grab the one with the most cores. Okay, we've got the brain, so let's talk about the motherboard. If the CPU is the brain, the motherboard is the central nervous system and skeleton all rolled into one. It's the main circuit board that everything, and I mean everything, plugs into. Your CPU, graphics card, RAM, storage, power supply, they all connect to the motherboard, which acts like a highway system letting every component talk to each other and get power. When choosing a motherboard, the absolute first thing to check is compatibility. Your motherboard socket has to match your CPU. An AMD CPU won't fit in an Intel socket, and even different generations from the same brand use different sockets. Don't guess, use a site like PC Part Picker to make sure they match. After that, you're just looking at features. How many USB ports you need, if you want built-in Wi-Fi and how many slots you need for storage drives. The classic beginner mistake here is cheaping out. People see a powerful CPU and GPU, and then grab the cheapest motherboard they can find. This is a huge mistake. A cheap motherboard can have weak power delivery, which can throttle your expensive CPU's performance. It might have fewer ports, slower connections, and be made with lower quality parts that are more likely to fail. Another painful mistake is forgetting to install the little motherboard standoffs in the case. This can let the board touch the metal case and short circuit your entire system. All right, let's get to the part everyone loves. The graphics processing unit or GPU. If the CPU is the brain, the GPU is the raw, visual horsepower. Its whole job is to take data from the CPU and turn it into the images, videos, and 3D worlds you see on your screen. For gaming, this is arguably the most important component since it directly controls your frames per second or FPS and how high you can crank up the graphics settings. When you're shopping for a GPU, don't just look at the brand, look at the model number, an NVIDIA RTX 4070 is way way better than an RTX 4060. The same goes for AMD cards. You'll also see VRM or video memory mentioned. This is special memory just for the GPU to store things like game textures. For modern gaming, especially if you're playing at 1440p or 4K, having enough VRAM is non-negotiable. The most common mistake with a GPU is creating an imbalance. Pairing a monster of a GPU with a weak old CPU is a classic bottleneck. Your GPU will be sitting there ready to pump out 150 frames per second, but your CPU can only feed it enough data for 60. The result? You paid for performance you literally can't use. Always aim for a pairing that makes sense. At 1080p, the CPU carries more weight, but at 4K, the GPU does most of the heavy lifting. Next up is RAM, or Random Access Memory. Think of RAM as your computer's short-term memory, or even better, its workbench. 
When you open a program, the data it needs right away gets pulled from your slow storage and slapped onto this super fast workbench so the CPU can get to it instantly. The more RAM you have, the bigger your workbench which lets you run more programs at once without your PC slowing to a crawl. In 2025, 16 GB is the bare minimum for a new gaming PC but 32 GB is the new sweet spot that gives you plenty of breathing room. You'll also see speeds like DDR5 6000 MT slash S. DDR5 is the current standard for any new build, and it's a lot faster than the old DDR4. The mistake that almost every first-timer makes with RAM is not enabling its full speed. When you first install it, your RAM will run at a sluggish default speed. You have to go into your computer's BIOS, a simple settings menu you get to on startup, and enable a profile called either XMP or Expo. It's literally one click, and it unlocks the speed you actually paid for. Forgetting this is like buying a sports car and never taking it out of first gear. Let's talk about storage. This is your computer's long-term memory, the filing cabinet where your operating system, games, and files are kept forever. For years, people used hard disk drives or HDDs, which are basically spinning metal disks. They're cheap and come in huge sizes, but they are painfully slow. Today the standard is the Solid State Drive or SSD. SSDs have no moving parts and are massively faster. This is the single biggest quality of life upgrade you can make, period. It means your PC boots in seconds, games load in a flash, and the whole system just feels snappy. The fastest type of SSD is called an NVM drive, which looks like a little stick of gum and plugs right into the motherboard. The most painful mistake I see in a new build in 2025 is someone using an HDD as their main boot drive. It will make a brand new, powerful PC feel like it's from 2010. The rule is simple, your operating system and your most played games must be on an NVM SSD. You can always add a bigger, cheaper SSD or even an HDD later for mass storage, but your main drive has to be fast. This brings us to one of the most overlooked but absolutely critical components the power supply unit, or PSU. If the CPU is the brain, the PSU is the heart. It pulls electricity from your wall and converts it into clean, stable power for every single part in your PC. When you're choosing a PSU, look for two things, wattage and an efficiency rating. The wattage is the total power it can deliver. You need enough for your specific CPU and GPU, plus some extra headroom just to be safe. The efficiency rating is usually 80 plus, followed by a metal like bronze, gold, or platinum. An 80-plus gold rating means the PSU is highly efficient and wastes less energy as heat. The absolute number one, most dangerous mistake a beginner can make is buying a cheap, low-quality power supply. A bad PSU can deliver dirty power, causing crashes and slowly degrading your other parts. In a worst-case scenario, a cheap PSU can fail and take your expensive CPU, motherboard, and GPU with it. Never ever skimp on the power supply. It's the foundation of your build's stability and longevity. Finally, the case. It's more than just a box, it's the home that protects and most importantly cools all of your expensive hardware. A good case is designed for one thing above all else, airflow. You want a case with options for front intake fans and top or rear exhaust fans. The goal is to create a constant river of cool air flowing in over your parts and pushing hot air out. A case with a solid front panel might look cool, but if it can't breathe, it's just an oven. The most common mistake here is picking looks over function. That beautiful all-glass box with no ventilation will choke your components, causing them to get hot. When parts get too hot, they automatically slow down to prevent damage. That's called thermal throttling. So all that performance you paid for gets crippled by a case that can't breathe. Always, always prioritize a case with good airflow. Your components will run cooler, faster, and last longer. A classic building mistake is also installing your fans backward, which messes up your airflow and traps heat instead of pushing it out. So now you know what each part does, but the real secret to a great PC isn't just buying the best individual components. It's about buying parts that work well together. This is what we call a balanced build. We've already touched on it. But the most important relationship to balance is your CPU and GPU. Put a weak CPU with a powerful GPU and you get a CPU bottleneck. The GPU is a race car, but the CPU is a slow country road holding it back. On the flip side, pair a monster CPU with a wimpy GPU and you get a GPU bottleneck. Now you've got a six lane highway, but you're driving a scooter. A balanced PC is one where every part can hit its potential, all working in harmony. 
The CPU is fast enough to feed the GPU, the RAM is quick enough for the CPU, and the PSU is stable enough to power everything safely. This is how you build a machine that's truly smart, fast, and doesn't waste a single dollar of your hard-earned money. And there you have it. You're no longer staring at a list of confusing acronyms and model numbers. Now you actually understand not just what the parts are, but how they work together to give you the experience you want. You have the core knowledge to avoid the most common and most expensive mistakes. If this video helped you feel more confident about your upcoming build, do me a favor and hit that like button. It makes a huge difference for the channel. And make sure to subscribe for more PC building guides, reviews, and tutorials. Building a PC is one of the most rewarding things you can do in tech, and now you're ready to do it right. Good luck with your build.